When we look at actual versus expected content for CBD and other related compounds in vaping liquids, what we look at for expected is what's on the label. So what does the manufacturer say they are putting in their product? And then the actual, we measure using instrumentation in the laboratory. And in our case, we measured it using two different types of instrumentation. We used liquid chromatography, which is a method that separates all the components from the CBD vaping liquid so that we can see what the individual components are in the vaping liquid. So we wanted to see if we analyze the sample at room temperature or normal ambient temperatures versus when it gets heated like you would in a vape, are there differences? And when we analyzed the products as purchased, they showed a disparity between what was on the label versus what we actually detected. We had nine samples, and I believe it was seven out of the nine showed a statistical difference between what was on the label as being the, the cannabinoid content versus what we actually detected as being the cannabinoid content. And in every case, the difference was higher. So it was containing more CBD than what it was labeled to contain. In terms of looking at safety and efficacy of the vaping liquids and the content of the different chemicals in them, until there's regulation on these products, it, it's still, it's going to be um, use at your own risk. What's on the label versus what it actually contains may not be the same thing because there isn't any real current guidelines. There's not any rules and regulations by the FDA that have to be followed for these, these products. And in addition to the compounds like nicotine and CBD that they're being advertised for containing, you also have to consider that these products use different solvents and flavorings. And so you have all of these chemicals that are in these products to make them taste good or as a carrier liquid for the vaping product. And so you're turning those into a vapor and inhaling them into the lungs. And so you're inhaling irritants, you're inhaling products that could potentially cause damage to the lungs. If you want more forensic science content, don't go anywhere. We've got interviews, highlights, and more from the 2025 AAFS meeting. Click here and get watching.